Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Well, I'm back out at Vintage Oaks in the Grove section because the house behind me is being built by Perry Homes for one of my out-of-state clients. It's the 2738 plan, which means, well, the square footage is 2738. Let's go check it out. I absolutely love Perry Homes and the community of Vintage Oaks and the Grove. It's just the more... Uh, traditional neighborhood. So we do have some music back there. There is a construction zone going on. And uh, this house is still under construction. So please keep that in mind. I'm doing this video for my clients so they can see what this house looks like in its present state. All right, let's head on inside. Loving the rock on the front. So I don't have to show the garage from the inside. It is a two car garage. And they're gonna have a little door opening. You don't see that too often. That might have been a special request. But it is plumb for a water softener. I see their door has come in. Beautiful door. Still has got a lot of work to do in this house, but they are getting there. All right, hope this video helps somebody else who's considering a 2738 plan. Nice wide hallways. I'll shut that door there. But right when you come in, you do have an office. They got a little A-frame or a little semi-A-frame uh, rooftop there. Plenty of light in this office section. Ooh, they went with the in-home vacuum cleaner. Don't see that too often. But yeah, this is the door leading into the garage. And these are the two bedrooms up front part of the house. This is a four bedroom house. Once again, tall ceilings, eight foot doors, which are now um, every Perry home, especially their single story homes, are gonna have the eight foot doors in it because they, have, they do have the high ceilings. The other bedrooms, check out the closet. All right, there's kind of an average size closet. And this house does not have lights all the way in it, so there are gonna be some dark spots. There's the shower, they're gonna have a walk-in shower for the prep for the uh, people living in that can't talk anymore it's been a long day using those two bedrooms and speaking of another bedroom here's another secondary bedroom it's a good size room and this one's gonna have its full own sink and bath with a closet, linen closet there too. So yeah, if you've got those long-term guests, this room's perfect for that. And it's got that in wall vacuum cleaner there where you just kind of hook the hose up to the wall, turn the system on and uh, you're good to go. All right, this is gonna be the flex room. They've got plastic covering this. This will be nice glass opening. You can have this as a media room, as another office if you want, game room, whatever you want. And then into the main living space. They did upgrade to the full sliding doors, which uh, perfect time of year to have them open right now as it is, oh, what, 80, I mean not 80, uh, 65 degrees outside right now. An absolutely beautiful day as I'm filming this on 10 February, 2022. Tall ceilings throughout, lots of lights, a lot of can lights put in here. This is gonna be your dining room slash breakfast nook area. Just wall to wall windows all the way around. The sun will be setting on this side of the house. So this is gonna be a really nice spot for sitting out. Um, they will be putting a privacy fence up eventually. But, oh, let me go hit the kitchen here first. This is what the kitchen looks like for now. Um, you know, built-in oven, 
built-in microwave, your countertops, your cooktops coming, dishwasher's coming, and you can see the irregular shaped stainless steel sink, not 50-50, good for them. The corner closet is in work. and a framed in refrigerator section. All right, let's go check out the outside area. And of course, there's gonna be a bobcat doing work on the next house. Your back porch, still doing some more work on it. Like I said, these doors here are going to slide be able to slide all the way open and you see the post where the fence are going to be at now this tree is not going to be on your property but you're definitely going to be able to enjoy it because you must have put the fence up this is going to be a big beautiful tree oh it's a gorgeous day in texas right now Got your outlet put in, plumb for gas. See, they're still doing some more painting. All right, let's head on into the owner suite. It's always a good idea to have an outlet set up in the floor. They got some pass-throughs for their AV equipment. Here's the laundry room. We haven't seen this one yet. Nothing special, just a laundry room. All right, coming into the owner suite. Once again, tall windows it can be very energy efficient window. They have the tray ceiling up top. You can tell they want the builder grade light because they're probably gonna go fan shopping for themselves and put a little fan up there that's got a little personality. And that is a great way to save some money because the builders, no matter what builder you use, there will be an upcharge by the builder where you can go with a builder's grade light and then go shopping for your own fan with your own lights. All right, we're gonna have dual vanities. Here's one of them. And there's the other one. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's another one. Another small one there. Tell they went with the big soaking tub and a really good size mud inset shower. You got your water closet there. And then your master bedroom closet with all of your power outlets and stuff coming in there. Got your shoe rack in the progress of being built. We can show off the flooring here. But love how much light's in this house. All right, I do these videos for my out-of-state clients so they can get an idea of what their house looks like during the construction time. And if you're looking for a realtor that does these, have a few feel to reach out to me. All right, that's gonna wrap up a tour of the 2738 plan being built by Perry. This one's actually out in the Grove section of Vintage Oaks, but they can build this plan at a lot of different communities. So if you're considering moving to the area and you don't have a realtor already, feel free to reach out to me. I will leave a link to my calendaring app in the description box. That's the best way to contact me. Anyways, I hope my clients enjoyed this tour and see what their house looks like at this current date. All right, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing the videos with your friends. All right, take care now.